Hey everybody, Miss Teacher here. We're taking a look at question number one. Hector waters his lawn if it does not rain at least one and a half inches each week. It has already rained three-eighths of an inch this week. Which inequality represents the number of inches of rain R still needed so that Hector does not have to water his lawn this week? If we map this out on a number line, I think that's our best way to understand what we need to do. Now keep in mind that one and a half, if we rethink that as eights, it'll be easier to map it out on the number line. One and a half as an improper fraction would be equal to three halves, and if we rethink it as eights, that's equal to twelve eighths. So that would be right here on the number line. That means that anything on this side, if it rains that much, there would be no need to water. But anything on this side of the number line, you would need to water. Now let's think about what this means. It has already rained 3 eighths inch this week. So that would be the amount that I have highlighted here in blue. If it's rained that amount, that means we need this much more to get to the 12 eighths. Now before we pick out which inequality symbol we want, because they give us, really there's only like two inequality symbols that they offer us. They offer us the, the rain amount has to be greater than or equal to, or they offer us the rain amount has to be greater than, and then they give some different numbers. If this was just a regular equation, we would say 3 eighths plus some amount of rain, and then I'm just going to put a question mark so that we can think again about which of these inequality symbols we want, would have to be at least 12 eighths, 12 eighths. All right, so if we were actually going to solve this, the opposite of add 3 eighths to a variable would be to subtract 3 eighths we would subtract 3 eighths from both sides. This would cancel out. We'd have the R. And again, we're trying to figure out which one of these symbols we want. But if we subtract 12 eighths minus 3 eighths, that gives us 9 eighths. And is an improper, or that is an improper fraction. It's a mixed number. That's equal to 1 and 1 eighth. All right, now we have to think about which symbol, because we need to put a symbol here. Now look at this purple value. So that purple value, I'm just going to write 1 and 1 eighths or 9 eighths above it just so we know what a hypothetical amount would be. So if it rains 3 eighths and then it rains 9 eighths and we add those two things together, is that at least 1 and a half inches or 12 eighths? So by the way, we can eliminate these two choices because they're not talking about the right value. We're talking about 1 and 1 eighths, so these are the only two val uh, answer choices that have the, the right quantity. So now you have to ask yourself which of these symbols represents at least, at least this purple amount and pick the one that goes with that word. 